Hey guys, your buddy Will here with Perfect Water Technologies. We're the folks who manufacture the Home Master product line. Today I'll be showing you how to perform a bypass of the automatic shutoff valve. This valve's only function is to shut the system off when the tank is full of water. Fear not. The permeate pump will do the same exact thing once the tank reaches capacity. I'm really excited to show you, so let's have some fun and let's get started. First, you want to give yourself some room to work. Clear away a workspace under the sink near the Home Master RO system. If your system has a refrigerator connection kit, locate and close the valve feeding the refrigerator. If it does not, skip this step. If your system has a UV filter, folks, this is very important. Before you begin this process, unplug the power adapter. If you do not, skip this step. Locate and slowly close the Easy Adapter, also known as the feed water valve. When closed, it will be perpendicular to the tubing. Next, locate and slowly close the tank valve located on top of the reserve tank. When closed, it will be perpendicular to the water line. Next, we're going to depressurize the system. To do this, Simply open your reverse osmosis faucet and let the water flow until it comes to a complete stop. Your system is now depressurized. Go ahead and leave the reverse osmosis faucet in the open position. We'll come back to this momentarily. Folks, please note, if water continues to flow from the faucet and does not stop, you'll need to repeat the previous steps by making sure that both the feed water valve and the tank valve are both completely closed. Slowly remove the filtration cluster from its mounting clip and place it at the bottom of your cabinet. Locate the ASV found at the heart of the system. As you can see, the ASV flows in a U pattern, so the inlet and the outlet are next to one another on either side. Notice how the water flows from the pre-filter into the top side of the automatic shutoff valve port labeled in, then out to the top of the blue membrane. First, remove the tube from the ASV port labeled in. To release the tube, push the collet ring in while simultaneously pulling the tube in the opposite direction. Next, we'll remove the tube going into the top of the blue membrane. Push the collet ring in while simultaneously pulling the tube in the opposite direction. Now, we're going to plug the first tube we removed from the ASV right into the top of the RO membrane. Now, on the bottom side of your ASV, you'll notice a long tube running to the permeate pump and a shorter tube running to a T or UV filter depending on which home master model you have. We're going to remove the tube from the permeate pump to the ASV first. Push the collet ring in while simultaneously pulling the tube in the opposite direction. Now, the next step here is to remove the shorter piece from the T. Push the collet ring in, push the, pull the tube in the opposite direction, and it should release very easily. Lastly, take the tube from the pump and connect it directly into the open T. Your ASV is now free and clear. Next, remove the ASV and the two tubes still connected to it. Allow it to air dry. Place it in a clean plastic bag and set it aside in a clean, safe place. You may discard this part once you're satisfied with the new configuration. Now that you've bypassed the ASV on your Home Master RO system, it's now time to mount the system into its mounting clip. Thank you. 
Once you've mounted the unit, connect the UV filter. If your system does not contain a UV filter, skip this step. Now that you have the unit remounted, it's now time to pressurize your RO system and check for leaks. First, make sure the unit is dry. Double check to make sure all the valves are in the closed position. Once you've done so, slowly open the easy feed water valve, also known as the angle stop valve, very slowly, as you always want to reintroduce water back into the system at a very slow pace. Water should flow normally from your kitchen faucet and you should hear water flowing through your system. A trickle of water should be present after two to 20 minutes. Once you observe the trickle of water, close the lever on the RO faucet and allow the system to pressurize. When the system is pressurized, it will shut off automatically. This is very important. If your system contains a UV filter, please proceed in plugging in the power supply. Folks, this is the most important step of the day, the leak check. Please tug on each tube gently. Don't try to rip it out. Simply tug on each of the tubes to make sure that the teeth inside the collet ring have locked onto each tube. Okay. Next, use a paper towel to gently touch the tube where it meets the collet ring. Don't put any pressure on the collet ring. Just simply touch it with a paper towel so this way you can examine the paper towel and look for signs of water. Once you have confirmed there is no water, you want to examine each of the remaining fittings, including the ones we have not touched today. Once you have completed the leak check, Open the tank valve very slowly. If your system has a refrigerator connection kit, locate and open the valve feeding the refrigerator. If it does not, skip this step. And there you have it. You've successfully completed the Home Master ASV delete procedure. For more details and information regarding your Home Master reverse osmosis water filtration system, please visit us at www.homemasterfilters.com. This is Will with Perfect Water Technologies, signing off.